Don't you hate it when your phone dies while you're on the roof? What about putting air in the tires down here? Do you have a dirty car to wash? All right guys, welcome back to the garage. Today we're out here. It is a rainy day in the state of Ohio, so I figured I'd tackle another project in the garage. Um, we are installing reels, retractable reels. Uh, one for a garden hose, one for an air hose for the air compressor, and the other one for an extension cord. Uh, hope you guys stick around. Now might be a good time to like and subscribe. All right, so these are the three hose reels that I'm gonna be installing today. Um, they have very, di very different uses and very different price points, uh, but let's, let's talk about these. So the first one that I have here is the extension cord reel. This one's made by Copper Peak and I found it on Amazon. It was roughly about $85. Uh, they had two different variants. They had a 14 gauge and a 12 gauge wire extension cord. Um, I ended up going with the 12 gauge. I don't really need it. I'll be honest with you. I got this thing, open it up and, and this thing's pretty beefy. Um, the two different variants are a 12 or a 14, like I said. Uh, the 12 comes in a 40 foot length extension cord. The 14 comes in a 50 foot. Now that I think about it, probably 50 foot in the 14 gauge would probably be better. But this is the one I have, this is the one I'm gonna use and it's gonna work, I think, pretty good for me. Um, the next one is actually used. I bought this at Lowe's probably three or four years ago and this was installed in my old house. Uh, these run about 105, 110 bucks, somewhere around that at Lowe's. Um, it holds your standard 5 8 inch um, pneumatic hose for an air compressor, rated at 300, 300 PSI, and then it's 50 feet in length, and this thing was awesome. So I, I use this a lot in my old house, and I'm looking forward to having it back up again. So that one's, that one's good. This one is the, the beast, uh, the one that I don't know if I should have bought. Uh, MSRP on this one is $250, so really expensive. I ended up getting it on a deal of the day. I think it was right under 200 bucks, like 190 something. Uh, so this one is going to be the true test to see if I like it. But it's the only hose reel that I was really finding that I liked that was retractable. So it has the ratcheting system just like the other two, so it'll pull the hose back up in there. It came with a 50-foot hose, which was pretty nice. Uh, all rubber, blue hose, 5 8 interior diameter, I think is what it is. So I think these are gonna be really good additions to my garage. Maybe not the most exciting project in the world, but it's really gonna help me better utilize my garage space and make my garage work for me. So let's get into actually installing these things. All right, so all, almost all my projects start off with some sort of 3D modeling, and you can see that I did real quickly uh, threw in 3D representations of what these are gonna look like, just so I could visually kind of plan out where each one of these hose reels was gonna go. Here's a closer look at where that reel is going to go. It's going to go in the lower left hand corner of my garage close to my hot and cold uh, water spigots. And then the nice thing about this is as long as I mount it in the lower 10 inches of this wall, I have a rim joist from the inside of my house to attach it to so that I don't have to worry about finding studs. Here's the mounting template that they provided. I went to Lowe's and bought the, the hardware that they were looking for. It's 3 8 inch lag bolt, mine are 2 half inches long and I bought washers as well. Um, all I did was take the template, tape it to the wall, and then drilled in the corresponding spots. top bolts already installed when you put the reel on was really nice because you could slide it up from the bottom and then it kind of wedged itself in place and actually held itself.
I have a little bit of a special scenario because I'm using both hot and cold water. So using a, an extra hose or a spare hose, I cut it down to length and then put female connectors on each side. Then I needed a Y with all male ends so that I could connect all the hoses together. Um, I found this Y on Amazon as well as the male to male adapter. And then after I Tefloned everything together, this is the final product. Here you can see how the hot end water kind of combine into the hose that they provided. And then the last thing was to connect the sprayer. All right, for this one, we go back up into the attic, and this isn't my best craftsmanship for sure, but I screw in a board in between the two rafters on edge, and then there's two two by fours on top of that just for spacing that the lag bolts end up going through. Now we're back down in the garage where I just put up the bracket and I'm tightening down all the hardware. I have a regular washer, a locking washer, and then a nut on each one of these. Then you install the reel by inserting the pins that go into it, and then there's set screws that you have to tighten to hold those in place. plug it in. For this one we're using the same hardware that I used before, 6 inch long, 5 8 inch diameter bolts uh, with washers, locking washers, and nuts. Then we go back up in the attic and I have two 2x4s going in between the rafters with a half inch spacer, another 2x4 on top that the lag bolts actually connect into and carry most of the weight. Yet again, a pretty easy install, just align the reel with the three bolts that are coming through the ceiling and use the hardware that you just saw to tighten it down. I connected the reel using a quick connect uh, just in case I had to ever take it down for any reason. Here's how the air hose goes across my ceiling and then along the wall and then eventually down behind the cabinets down underneath my workbench to my air compressor. I have the extra hose coiled up and then it goes into a quick disconnect so that I can detach my air compressor from it and wheel my air compressor around if I ever need to. And then you can also see my air compressor has um, a gauge on it so that I can regulate the pressure and a regulator I guess so that I can regulate the pressure from there. All right, all the reels are hung up, and originally my idea was I was going to give you an in-depth, kind of detailed review of each one of these reels. And I'll be honest with you, I really don't think I need to do that, because each one of them is designed to do a different thing, but each one of them is working the way that I want it to. Every one of them is storing the hoses for me, whether it's the electrical, the air hose, or the, the garden hose. They're all being stored really well. All of these things seem to be very high quality in the limited amount of time that I've been able to use them. They all do exactly what they were designed to do. All of the hoses pull out really nice and easy. They all have really nice ratcheting systems and then they all go back in just as easy as they came out. No matter which one of these you're looking at, um, I, I don't think you can go wrong. I think each one of them is a, is a really good product um, and I would recommend any of them to you. Overall, I don't think this was the most exciting project in the world, really. I was just installing three hose reels. Um, but it's dramatically changed my garage. Now I have electricity, air, and water wherever I need it within my garage and outside of my garage. Um, it's going to make doing the projects that I want to do later on this spring, summer, fall, whenever, so much easier because I'm not wrestling around or trying to find things. 
Um, from a storage standpoint, it's also really awesome because I'm not worrying about real, you know, winding up extension cords or, or trying to uh, put hoses back or anything like that. So storage of these things is really nice. Um, overall, I hope you found the, the video informative. I hope it maybe answered some of your questions. If you still have questions, please go in the comments and let me know. I'd love to answer any, any of your questions on specific installation things or individual questions about any one of these reels. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, maybe subscribe. Uh, but until the next one, I guess I'll see you on the next one.